Is Noelle a viable carry in Genshin Impact? Of course she is. We're going to show you exactly how to do that. What you need to arm yourself with characters, weapons, artifacts, everything that's changing in 2.3 as well as 2.4 in the future of 2021 leading into 2022. But before we get into specifics, we need to talk about this because so many players get this wrong to the day still. Why don't I do damage? You need to level both your normal attack as well as your sweeping time. Sweeping time, the damage multiplier here, isn't where all your damage is coming from. This is from the activation damage. This is gonna give you that defense to attack bonus, the geo damage, the long AOE radius on your charge attacks and your normal attacks. However, the damage multiplier from everything you do afterwards is your normal attack. So if you have your normal attack at level one still trying to do damage with this character, stop, go farm up the books, level this up. You can see it's crowned on this account and you're gonna be doing a lot more damage compared to a level one talent. And obviously level your shield as well. It's gonna give you more additional healing, higher shields. It's just a wonderful thing. So she does want to have all of her skills leveled. Don't skip out on any of them. Now 2.3 has already changed a few things and a lot of people still ask me this as well. Should I farm up the new artifact set? Is it worth it? 100%, no shot. You should definitely do 100% you should. So this is gonna give you 54% defense as well as 20 24% geo damage. This is gonna outweigh the other two things that get asked about all the time, right? You have the retracing bolite set and the gladiator set. The gladiator set give me that 18% attack as well as 35% normal attack damage. And then you have the retracing bolite set, a little bit of shield strength. And then if you have a shield up as well, 40% both normal and charge attack damage. The defense percent, 54%, which is wild, outweighs the little bit of extra damage bonus up you'll get from the other sets. This has 24% geo, so you have 35 and 40 in comparison with the Gladiator set or the Retracing Bolite set. The defense percent in conjunction with the geo damage is just gonna make you do wonders of more damage. And as far as main set subsets are concerned, we're here to do two things. Be a tanky bruiser girl, heal up, do damage with that defense to attack ratio, crit, all that cool stuff. So we have a goblet here, geo damage goblet is still your best friend. Don't go for the defense, don't go for attack. Geo damage goblet. And then we're gonna go for a circlet that either has crit damage or crit chance. You want to have a large amount of the other one as the subset. So if you have a crit damage circlet, you wanna have a ton of crit chance in your subset. If you have a crit chance circlet, you wanna have a ton of crit damage in your subset there if you can swing that one there. The sands here is gonna be a defense percent sands. Crit chance, crit damage is what we need to do and aim for there. The flower and feather, crit chance, crit damage, a little bit of energy recharge, as well as some defense percent could be a good thing there. So you can see my substats on my artifacts here, a little bit of a balance between them all. I haven't gotten all the best rolls on everything yet. You know, this flower's looking pretty spicy, but then you have like stuff like this circle. It looks a little, a little sad out there. But at the end of the day, our attributes here on this character, we have 70% geo damage, with max stacks of the new four piece. We have 67 crit rate and 182 crit damage with a nice 133 energy recharge. And we also have just under 2000 defense here. Now, how do you gain stacks? I wanna make sure that you guys know about this real quick. You gain stacks passively while off the battlefield or if you're doing geo damage. You also will lose a stack every six seconds if you're not gaining a stack. So the only way for Noelle in summary to lose stacks is to have her in the active slot and have her not really do geo damage. So you'll see a stack is lost every six seconds. However, for you to go ahead and hit an enemy with your shield, with your elemental burst, that's good to go. You can also put her back in the back line and you will accrue one stack every three seconds for free while she's not the active character. As you can see, we'll swap back in and we'll start actively losing stacks from four to three to two to one again. Now, when we get into weapon selection, once again, for Noel, there's gonna be still two big four-star weapons for her. And it's the same two, Serpent's Mine as well as the White Blind. Now, the White Blind is still the best defensive oriented option, bigger shields, bigger healing from her elemental skill. However, if you're going for even more damage than before, the Serpent Spine, due to how it interacts with the new set, because you already get a bunch of defense from the new set, you sort of have diminishing returns from having defense on the White Blind, defense stacks from the White Blind stacks, and then defense from the new four piece set with the Hus set, Having the Serpent Spine gives you even more damage percent bonus up from 30 to 50%, depending on your refinement rank. And it also gives you that nice 27 crit rate, which makes it a little bit easier for you to build there. On top of that, we're also gonna have the new five-star Red Horn Thresher, which wants a ton of crit chance in your substats, in your main stats, as well in your artifacts. We're looking for 60, 70% crit chance to really maximize the Red Horn Storm Thresher when it is 
arriving with the Arataki Ito banner. But if you can pull that off, that weapon's gonna be fantastic as well. So you have three solid options. The blind is gonna be the worst, followed by the spine, followed by, if you have the substats to support it, the good old Red Hone Storm Thresher. Another often discussed topic is constellations. There's three very important constellations for Noel. The first one is Got Your Back. This is going to allow you to heal with 100% proc rate as your elemental burst and your skill are both activated. This is gonna make her a healing extraordinaire. If you're just starting out with Genshin, you kinda of wanna have this one to reduce your RNG to zero so she can always consistently heal your party. The other one here is the C6 must be spotless. This is going to increase that defense to attack percent bonus by an additional 50%. And then the other one we want to talk about here is C5 actually gives you three free levels of sweeping time. So if you go ahead and check out my talent here, sweeping time is at level 13 and it gives you an 85% at 13 defense to attack ratio. If you don't have the C5 here, you're gonna have 72% defense to attack ratio. And then on top of this number right here, C6 is gonna give you an additional 50%. So currently right now I have 135% defense to attack ratio. So if I go out here and pop my elemental burst here, you're gonna see that I go up to 3,858. Well, I'm getting 135% of my defense added to my attack there. If you don't have C5 or C6, you're gonna be missing out on around half of that defense to attack ratio bonus, 72% instead of 135%. So you'd be getting roughly, instead of a big whopping like over 2,000 attack multiplier there, you'll be getting like a 1.3, 1.4K, 1.5K attack multiplier depending on your defense there. So does it make you have less attack for sure. I'd be sitting around 3000 attack if I wasn't C5 or C6 instead of like 3800 attack. Can you still do a main carry Noel with it? You're going to do less damage. Obviously, you're going to have about as much attack as a hefty five star big character would with a good build, someone like Eula, you know, out there with 3000 attack. You're not going to have the 4K, 4.5K that Noel is going to be known for if you don't have those two constellations. Well, synopsis, can you do it? Yes. Should you do it if you want to? How much weaker are you? It's not going to obliterate the build. If you're just starting, it is definitely something that you can go out there and aim for. Because she's not just a main carry, she can be, but she's also a healer and your sustainer, as we're about to find out as I go into these bad boys right here. So the wolves here, they're going to be putting on the good old HP down over and over and over and over. So let's, uh, let's lessen the burden on our team here. So another way to actually heal a little bit faster in AoE situations is to spin to win with your shield up. And you can see bloop, 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 bloop. Good to go there. We can pop this off again. Thank you, Energy Recharge. And you can see we went down by three stacks because I was talking in the mic, but we lost our Omelette Burst, put it back up. Good to go once again. And we sat there not healing for a while and we're back up on everyone in another troll artifact to boot. When it comes to Noelle team compositions, there's one very important thing you want her to have if she's intended to do damage and that's to be Enduring Rock, the times two GR resonance, shield strength up as well as damage increase in geo resist down. This is a double damage increaser for your geo characters. As of right now, these three characters are my favorite characters to support Noel with. We have resist down with Zong Li. We have off the field damage with Albedo, who is also insane in 2.3. Well, let's not forget Raiden Shogun, crystallization, free damage with her E, as well as allowing us to battery the rest of our team, which is quite awesome. If you don't have access to some of these characters, don't worry, there's some nice stand-ins. You don't have access to Raiden Shogun, but you still want a battery? Oh, the Electro Traveler is so good. We've done a video on this way back in the day, back when Inazuma first launched. Sacrificial Sword on the Electro Traveler. Good battery regen, can fulfill, sustain Noel pretty much on her own with 120-ish, 130% energy recharge on Noel. And if you don't have either of these two Geo characters, don't worry, you can always put in a Ningguang as well, who does fantastic single target damage in a times two Geo damage composition. She also has some nice energy regeneration with the Jade screen, especially if you have the constellation where the Jade screen will reset the cooldown when it is destructed. Also, Jade Screen buffs up damage of characters who pass through it by 12% if it's Geo damage. And in addition to Ning Wong, if you're not using the Electro Traveler in your team, you can also use the Geo Traveler, drops boulders, very low cooldown, also pretty good at generating 
good old geo elemental particles to battery your noel at the same time and in the future we're gonna get two more four star geo characters they're gonna pair very well with noel they're gonna be none other than goro who gives big defense buffs and if you get the constellation for it crit damage to your geo characters as well and then we're gonna have yunjin who is going to increase your normal attack damage and add damage based on her own defense to your character's normal attacks as well. So you're gonna be buffing up Noelle's normal attacks, which is where all of her damage comes from, by a significant margin with either of these two characters. So look for them in 2.3 as well as 2.4 when those are launched in Genshin Impact. And I'm highly anticipating both of those characters, so we're gonna be playing with them when we get access to them.